Hi guys, it has been so long. It's been so long. I'm using my old vlogging camera. This is the Sony A5, A5100. Um, God, I've been meaning to get back on here with you guys for the longest. I actually did a little bit of an apartment tour. Um, I didn't end up using the footage. Just a mess, just a mess. Here's Emma. If you guys want to see Emma, I know you guys love seeing her. She's going to be all alone, right Emma? She's going to be alone. I'm actually headed to the airport. I am going to Barcelona with some of my friends from medical school. It's kind of a post-boards uh, trip. It's been so long since I've updated you guys. Essentially, I took my boards. Um, throughout your medical career, you'll take several board exams. This one is specific to my specialty. Um, as some of you know, I'm an attending now, done residency, doing my own thing. So <clears throat> it's kind of like the bar for law, kind of, you know, now. Um, I mean, I was practicing in residency, but now I'm practicing under my own license um, and I'll be board certified in my specialty. Uh, so that was last week. Uh, my best friend from SF uh, visited me for a week and now I'm off to Spain um, to see some of my closest friends. Honey, it's been so long since I've seen them. Um, I'm all done packing. If you guys like the bed, it's from CB2. This is like a little bit of a uh, sneak peek at my apartment. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say hello. Welcome to a traveling vlog, my first in a long time. Um, thank you guys for your patience and I cannot wait to bring you along. Guys, I wanted to show you while I'm waiting for the train what's in my um, little crossbody. I have this Adidas crossbody, it's so cute. Lip products. I'm wearing... Jen will be so happy. I'm wearing my lipstick in Dandy. My Troy Surratt, love it. It's a my list but better, obsessed. And then of course, Tinted Oil, which I think they discontinued. Did they discontinue this? Flight just finished with security. It's like never not stressful. Jacket, <laughs> it's like never not stressful. Please um, return back but it went smoothly. I saw my duty free um, to look at Tom Ford Oat Wood. It is my signature scent. Like I always mix it with something else, but it is my go-to. I own it in the lotion, which is amazing. It has great longevity, but I wanted to pick up the actual perfume. And it's 2.30 here, it's 2.30 on Sephora. It's the last day of the Sephora VIB, so I think I'm gonna like jump on my phone <laughs> and pick up uh, the actual fragrance from Sephora. I don't get it, I don't understand the point of duty free if it's not cheaper. Hey guys, so I just got in this morning. I took a red eye to Barcelona. Um, so I'm in the Airbnb now. I have my own room. Um, just went out and got a latte. I'm trying to speak Spanish because I want to be respectful. Um, but I know such broken Spanish, it's like embarrassing. So I probably will still be using English. We are gonna head out. I wanna show you guys the sights. I'm so excited. I'm only here for a few days. It's like, I'm embarrassed by the number of days I'm here. I'm not gonna tell you. Um, but I'm still happy to be here, and from New York, it's only like a six hour flight, so it wasn't terrible. Also, goals for this weekend, I want to go to Louis Vuitton. There are two in Barcelona. I want to check both out to see if they have the mini backpack, because i oh, so upset. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I found the mini backpack in the really rare camel um, combo brown color, or like the reverse, they call it, the reverse monogram. Left it, of course. Was like messaging the salesperson an hour after I left the Louis Vuitton and it was it was like sold. It was just that was with Sherry and Sherry didn't like the color. It was like um it's like a tan but it camel but it looked kind of barfy like there was a little bit of like a green olive undertone which was kind of weird. So because it's such an investment and I wasn't like mentally prepared to buy it, I was like I passed on it, which is so upsetting now. Um, but I read online. I believe the prices are better in Europe. The better in Spain. So I'm gonna check it out and hopefully these boutiques will have a mini backpack. I have. Really, I'm not expecting them to have it, um, but I'm really hoping. Maybe I'll find something else, but I'm such a mini backpack person, like I can't do really any other bag. Guys, look at this floor. It's so cute. Look at this door. So cute. It's like so Euro. Look at, isn't this like so in the movies? This is the elevator. It's so tiny. Sean and I were like together, basically touching our bo entire bodies oh, okay. together. New yeah. Um, guys, this is, is this by Gaudi? What is this called? So pretty. Our Airbnb is super, super close. It's like across the street. You know what I want to do? I want to eat McDonald's here. I wonder what they have in Spain's McDonald's. 
Wait, have you get, have, did you go to McDonald's in Portugal? What's that? Did you go to McDonald's in Portugal? No, we didn't. I'm curious to see what they have, like what their pies are, I especially. Okay, I'm down for that too. <laughs> down for that too. In the church. This is a blast. Guys, wh where, where are we again? This is uh, one of my best friends, Kira. Yeah. So I've been seeing her in so long. It's gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. I could feel it. I knew it was here. Hello. Guys, we're like in the downtown shopping area. I actually had them walk to Louis Vuitton with me. Um, wasn't there. The mini backpack wasn't there. I still am so bitter. I missed out on it. Um, so super depressing. And then so I went to the Louis Vuitton. The dude was like, he was such an asshole. He was just he like, was he was like, you're not gonna find it. I asked if there was another store. He's like, you're not gonna find it. It sold out all in Europe. And I knew, I kind of like know that. It sold out everywhere. Even in New York it sold out. Um, it's just for a reason in that Soho shop they had one. So if you guys are watching and you find the mini backpack, <laughs> text me, cause I will, I will Venmo you. And you're gonna get it for me. Um, but it's really cute guys. And I'm just trying to figure out where to eat. I'm trying to avoid carbs, but it's not gonna happen. I know I'm gonna end up eating, like binge eating potatoes and croissants. Um, this is, oh my God, NYX. Oh my God, it's crazy. Um, super global. I'm sure Patrick's face is in there somewhere. By the way, um, these Ray-Bans are Bloomingdale exclu exclusives. Um, I actually bought them two months ago, lost them. Had to go rebuy them, but you can find them in Soho. Um, and I, I actually like took a picture of the model. Jen would be so proud. I took a picture of the model. I went home thinking I could just buy it online. Can't find these online. So they're like the amazing and mirrored. I just love them. Obsessed. Guys, I am so excited. Passion fruit chocolate. If you guys watch British Bake Off or Zumbo, which is new on Netflix, <laughs> such a good baking show. Um, I don't know, Australians and British people love passion fruit. I love passion fruit, so excited. Like, Tarones, Essence. I'm gonna do a taste test because I am just, if you guys are wondering, this is from Madewell. I get asked that a lot. This is from Madewell. You can probably still find it. Whoa, it's big. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy all of this. It has like a paste inside. Mm. See, there's like no light. Like a truffle kind of. Or like those Whitman chocolates. You get filet Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. No one really likes getting those though. It's tasty. <laughs> it's just white chocolate, so it tastes like really sweet. It's white chocolate? Uh-huh. Mm. I don't really taste the passion fruit though. Trying to say yeah. Mmm. Sure. I'm into it. Are you filming yourself eating? Totally into it. That's my life. You're not having much with your eye today. Your food and I. Or your eye with food. I bought, we went to the market, I bought bananas because I eat like three a day. Apples. Whoa, this chocolate. So good. Pretty intense. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, it's not even sweet. Oh. Oh yeah. 85%. I, I, mm -hmm. I like it. But I do 35%. 25%? Bitter. Uh-uh. That's good though. If anyone would like some passion fruit okay. chocolate. In my house pants that I wear clubbing. It's great. You got passion fruit underneath. Oh no. <laughs> the boys will see it. <laughs> They'll know. And I love how each one. Look at this, guys. Foie gras. I got each one. Fig. It's like the cutest little culinary experience we're having here. We had oysters. We had an amazing salad. We're having wine. Like Spaniards do. Incredible. So foie gras tastes like cream. It's like so delicious. Like rich and tasty. I love it. I love mm. one wrap. Maybe so it tastes like cream. But it doesn't even taste <laughs> like gamey or anything. It tastes amazing. Where are we? What is this place? The Bishop's Belly. The Bishop's Belly in Barcelona. I chose it. This is um squid octopus? Squid. Squid. With black ink. 
Yeah. I'd rather not. Just go. Or should I do it? Just go for it. Or let me see your tongue. Oh. Really? <laughs> it's hard. The textures are hard. Oh, open your mouth. <laughs> All right. I do. Second main course. Cannelloni, oxtail, can oxtail. Oxtail. Like, so good. It's delicious. Guys, that was so good. It was cinnamon ice cream with citrus sorbet. And then, what is this? This is chocolate and bread. I'm so into this. Bread and chocolate truffle. Wait, cheers, cheers to me. Yes. Uh, this is this is to Barcelona 2017. Love you guys. Look how beautiful these are. Oh my god, they're incredible. Guys, can you see they make their own chips? Oh, amazing. Yes. So beautiful. We all over social media eating this phallic. Okay. Delicious. Like yours? Mm-hmm. Oh, a little warm. Mm-hmm. These they're, are fresher. They're fresh. They're fresh. Mmm. These are so good. Mm-hmm. These could be like savory. Like my shirt, guys, it's from Misguided. Guys, I'm in, we we're in McDonald's because I wanted to see what they have. <laughs> they have these weird, like, chicken bites or something. Chicken ball bites? And scream. Oh my god, they have potato wedges. Wow. Oh. What's their chicken? I see like balls. I think on your sides. Oh my god. They have croquettes. Oh, shut up. They have croquettes. Do you guys see? Croquettes? Chicken McBites. They have chicken wings, chicken McBites, cheesy bites, and their fries are wedges. <gasps> Hi, guys. I'm in a beautiful park. I had to chase away a man who was trying to like take my camera and take a picture of us. They're so aggressive, very, very aggressive. I was like, get away! But I don't know how to say get away in Spanish. Um, we're gonna go find some fried yucca, some other fried delicacies. Everything is fried. It's like, if there's anything I wanna eat, it's fried. Um, and then we'll see. I am hunger. What is there left to do here? Just take selfies of ourselves. Guys, the best part, the best part of Barcelona are the alleys. There's like tons of back alleys. You should just go and explore and just walk around. There are alleyways where there are no cars, just like walking, and they're like dark, but they're so cute and they're such nice stores, super, super clean. Look over here. So pretty, yeah? There are tapas bars everywhere, like where, uh, Vespas or whatever you call these, like moped motorcycle things. Just the cutest, just really the cutest. Dogs everywhere like running loose. But it's still, again, like super clean. So really, really cute. We're gonna find lunch. Some fried yuca. It says I'm gonna have to go bien. C'est quoi le goût? C'est cinnamon rolls. C'est que j'avais pris pour toi, tu me dis c'est normal quoi. C'est le classique celui-là. Oh my god, this is incredible. It smells so good here. <gasps> what a cute bakery. Uh, found the most amazing bakery, my god, with cinnamon buns, like, that's what I've been craving for the longest right now, and so it's perfect, and then we also got a Rice crispy treat, they're also, like, my favorite thing ever, when dipped in chocolate, literally the best. Okay, you want a bite, too? What is it? Mmm, nut. Mmm, mmm, Barbie. Mmm. Nuts? Chocolate's so good though. Mmm. Nuts. Oh, they are nice. But chocolate is really good. Not rice crispy Not rice crispy treat, but honestly, delicious. So delicious. Mmm. Mmm. So good, guys. Mmm. Look how beautiful this is. It's 
incredibly beautiful look. The downtown. If you never thought to come to Barcelona, like, my friends have been in Spain for a couple days and I knew that I wasn't, so I'm like a short vacation person, I like like three to five days, it's like ideal for me. And from New York City it's like six hours, it's not bad at all, or six, seven hours, because it's on the west coast, east coast of Spain. Come to Barcelona, it's amazing. Look. I'm like, where are we? We're like, we just walked out of an alleyway. You see this? It's all food, like all food stalls, markets. We're looking for fried yuca, in particular. There's so many stalls. Ah! What do we see? Look, some croquettes. There's a croquette stall. Um, so this is um, El Mercado de Bacaria. I highly recommend you guys come. Guys, I found it. This is what it looks like. Oh my god. It's like a place that has just a bunch of fried things like croquettes. And this is yuca with meat inside. And on top he put... Um, like guac, it's like watery guac, but it's delicious. And he heats it up, but on top it's cold. And I want Warren to try it. Eat it, oh, eat it. What for me? I'm gonna try it too. Yeah. Oh, I already I'm tried yourself. it. It's amazing. Trust, trust. I already know. You already know. See? So good. So good. So good. Yuga is definitely my favorite fried starch. It's the best fried starch is Yuga. Okay, go back. Okay. Hola. Guys, my friend Born styled me. She taught me how to wear a beanie. So I like my be I like my hair showing. Rude. I like um, my hair to show, so I don't pull the beanie down enough. So there's always so much extra here, I never know what to do with it. And Born taught me, you just take the back that's against your head and you just pull. So it was like this, and I just pull, take the back, and you just pull it to the side. So I'm feeling myself. I'm like into it now. I can like wear a beanie and feel confident about it. <laughs> like a strong woman would. Pull it more. Film that, like, you want to see the back of your head? Huh? Okay. I think that's good. Okay. My Zara bag. Oh, I love it. And it's reversible. When did you buy that? I bought it the other week. I love it. Yeah, in one of the other seasons. I, I love Zara. I love their, like, faux leather products, or even their leather products. Looks so I nice. Um, good morning, guys. This is the second to last day, so um, half of us have departed, which is so sad, um, but Borden and I are still here. We have one more day, so we're moving out of our Airbnb to a hotel, which I'm very excited about. Um, because there's something about a hotel, it's just like enjoyable staying in, you know? So I just wanted to share it with you, the Airbnb. Like, First of all, I think my favorite thing is the tile. I love this tile. I don't know if it's like Moroccan inspired. I don't know what you would call this. It's like, but I'm obsessed with the tile and I'm a very like, I don't know if I'm minimalist. I'm not really minimalist. To be honest, you guys know I have like pink throw pillows. Um, but this tile is bomb and it would look so good in my apartment. Honestly, it's so cute. But this space was perfect. It's like not big actually. Like the common area is not big, but it's perfect for like a group of people. They just maximize the space quite well with the layout. There's a little balcony and it makes me wish I had a balcony in New York City which is such an exorbitant cost and really unnecessary because you can't really use it like half of the time, half of the year. But I just loved having that. Like I could put clothes out. You know the smell of clothes that um, dry outside? Just obsessed. Um, so this is, this is the balcony view which is not that great but it's super cute, right? It's like everyone's hanging their clothes outside. It's very, very cute. And 
I want to share with you guys. So everyone is like, oh, you're going to Barcelona. Go, go to Sagrada Familia. You have to go to Sagrada Familia, of course. Like, who doesn't come to Barcelona and go to Sagrada Familia? But I wanted to share with you my view out of my room, which was literally Sagrada Familia. Um, like, really? Is that not incredible? It's right there. And every... The past two days, oh, I can see my neighbors. The past two days, I've gotten out um, and just gone running. If you guys are joggers, you guys are if you guys are runners, I feel like it's the best way to see Barcelona. Like Barcelona is pretty manageable. It's everything is quite close together. Um, so I was able to run by Sagrada Familia every morning, see the kids go to school, run through the alleyways, which is. You know, if you're gonna spend time in, in Barcelona, I would recommend like three to four days at least because there are so many alleyways to discover things in and they're just so cool to run through. Like, they're clean. Um, they, it doesn't, it doesn't feel unsafe whatsoever. They're like people roaming around. Um, there are tons of shops that are only accessible by foot, um, including the cinna, cinnamon roll or cinnamon, not cinnamon, but you know, cinnamon roll shop that I found yesterday. Um, we're gonna check out some more markets today. Maybe do a little bit more shopping because there was one store that we don't have in the U.S. I was told to check out. Look, they upgraded us to this beautiful, like, bedroom. But look at these doors. Look how high they are. And they take you out into, like, a beautiful little courtyard area. With, like, swings. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my god, it's so nice. And we're right next to this, like church. I don't know what this is. Like a castle. It's probably Gaudi. I probably ran into that. I ran into some like castle looking church this morning. So beautiful. Super warm today too. I could like lay out and tan. Look at this beautiful bakery. It smells amazing. And they have... I'll show you. Do you see? What are these? And say Mata's. Where did I get one? Like croissant. Look how beautiful this, guys. It's yeah. like a light croissant, like lighter than. Yeah. Flakier than. Flakier than. But tastes like cream. But tastes like creamy inside or doughy inside. It's by. It's from Mistal. Cable car. Cable car. I feel like the Kardashians. And they're like, where are they? <laughs> they're on a ski trip. This is so exciting. Guys, we're like in an area of Barcelona that's like Barcelona. It's like residential. I think we're like in the university area. It feels so different in comparison to where we were the past two days, which is great. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have our own, our own space. So we can be real extra. Yes, queen, yes, yes, queen. So what are we gonna do later? I want to do a club. I want to do a club. Guys, Grinder is crazy. Grinder is crazy in Barcelona. Oh, yeah. You choose. Go I'm so easy going. This is go so all beautiful. The way up. All the way up. All the way up. Guys, look at that. I don't even know where we started. <gasps> oh my god. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. We were there by the water, actually. Yeah. Oh, natural lighting. <laughs> I don't know the importance of where we are today, to be completely honest. I don't do research, I just go where I'm told to go. And that's how I travel, Jen, would, Jen will attest to that. <laughs> Very bad in that regard, but Bourne always does itinerary. So nice. Look at these heaters. We have heaters. Let me see where we are, guys, so I can show you. <laughs> I literally Googled, like, which of these restaurants are good, because we're in Placa Real. See? Um, and they're essentially restaurants that line this square. So extra. And they're so extra. That's why it's even better. We have to do it too. So cute, right? We ordered paella. What else? Order paella, melon and fruit, melon and uh, meats. Melon and meats is so, so like Spanish, Italian, Mediterranean. Yum. Delicious. Calamari is so delicious. I'm gonna eat the salad, it's been so long. We need vegetables. 
Can you fetch those? Mm. Those are ham and Oh yeah? Fruit. Nice. You need more plates? Small? Mm -hmm. Like that? Yes, please. I need to remember to say gracias. So excited for this. Mm -hmm. Boren is most excited for that. Mm -hmm. Girl loves her fruit. <laughs>